Revelation 13, verses 16 through 18. And he causeth all, both great and small, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. The Greek word used in the original text for the word mark is pronounced karagma. Strong's translates this to a stamp, an imprinted mark, of the mark stamped on the forehead or the right hand as the badge of the followers of the Antichrist, the mark branded upon horses, of idolatrous images. The original Greek word used for in, in their right hands or in their foreheads, is pronounced epe. Strong's translates this to upon, at, of position, across. Those who take the mark of the beast are branded by the Antichrist. God seals the 144,000 as well. Revelation 7 verses 2 through 4. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. And I heard the number of them which were sealed, and there were sealed an hundred and forty-four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. In this verse, it is the exact same Greek word used for in as used in verse 16 for in, with reference to the mark of the beast. God seals his 144,000 in their foreheads. The Antichrist seals all of his in their right hand or forehead. People will have the choice to accept the mark of the beast or not. If one is not compliant in taking this, they will be hunted, arrested, and executed. He that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. The word for or in Greek translates directly to the English word or, so it means the exact same. Those who accept it will have the beast's mark or name or number upon them. Anyone who takes it will be taking the seal of the devil and will be damned for eternity. By taking it, they are allowing the devil's brand or seal to be put on them, and they will be the devil's property by their own choice, free will. Many have tried to figure out what the mark is. It will be some kind of identifier, perhaps a microchip implant, scan code, or something we don't know about yet. Whatever it is, there is enough information given to us in verse 16 for people to be able to identify it when it does come, because of where it will be placed, the right hand or forehead. Without the mark, one will not be able to buy or sell. Systems are being put in place around the world right now in preparation for this. Today, the world governments want to track every dollar you spend, track where you go, track what interests you, track everything about you, no matter what country you live in. Never before in human history have they been able to monitor people like they do now, and the technology is in place to do this. Electronic payments, digital footprints, facial recognition, implants, GPS, biometrics, social media, and the like. Computers are able to crunch all of this data in moments. With billions of people in the world, Technology is the only way that this could be done. Those who take the number will be likewise tracked and monitored. It will be a time of trouble unlike any other as found in Matthew 24, 21. Revelation 12, 12. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. Those who truly believe in Jesus Christ as their Savior prior to the rapture will not be here for the number of the beast. Revelation 3.10 Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Christians are already sealed by God, and we are already on his side and we will be spared from going through the tribulation 
a.k.a. Daniel's 70th week, a.k.a. the time of Jacob's trouble. Once the raptured saints are out of the way, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Messiah, will focus on the redemption of Israel. The church age will be over. Salvation will be available to everyone until Christ's second coming at the end of the age, at the end of the seven-year tribulation. If you are watching this after millions have vanished, please, please consider believing in Jesus Christ for your salvation. Your eternity depends on it. After the rapture, scores will come to Christ, and it is the tribulation saints who will be faced with the number of the beast during the end times. Revelation 12:11, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death.